Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back into some more All the Mod 7 to the Sky. Hope you guys are ready. Ah, yes, occultism. Last episode, we went over the basics of occultism. Today, we're going to be diving into really advanced stuff, sort of the end game part of occultism. That is going to include mining. We're going to be basically mining ore, we're going to be crushing ore, and we're going to be sort of automating that process. And I'm also going to get into familiars and potentially give us some effects with some rings, um, which is going to be really, really helpful. So first things first, as of right as of right now, we have gathered all of the chalk, right? All the different chalk, which allows us in our books to make some of these uh, these higher tier pinnacles. Uh, as you can see, this all requires this red chalk on the outside. And um, this is one of the higher tier ones. This is going to allow us to bind the uh the myriad which is the highest tier um so let's take a look there are some of these we have the fermata um this is the crusher that we're going to need the fermata here um but actually we already have the uh the pattern that we need to get into the automated mining so let's talk about automated mining and how this is going to work we can actually have sort of a a genie uh of such uh do some mining for us in a mining dimension However, we are going to need a dimensional mine shaft in order to do this. And then we're going to need a ore mining uh, or miner uh, genie um, or gin. It, it, a lot of people call them different things. Um, but apparently the ore has been fixed, which is kind of funny because I was just looking at this the other day. And look at this. This actually can pull up unobtainium and ingots and stuff from this mining operation. So I am so glad that I decided to update and get into this because this just got 10 times better. The fact that it allows all this stuff. Um, so this is what we need to make. We basically need to make a dimensional mine shaft and we need to make the ore miner gin or genie. And it all uses the, uh, the stringers, uh, strikers, <laughs> I think it's strikers, um, high binding, which is the one we already have set up, which I believe is this one right here. So let's go ahead and get this stuff made up. I mean, all it is, is that block of Isnium that we've already obtained. It's spirit attuned crystals. And this is a genie bound. Very simple. If you watched last episode, you're going to understand how all this works. This is also a block. And then we do need to make this pickaxe. Now this pickaxe, we just craft. Thankfully, this does not have anything that's bound to it. Um, and then some raw gold. And it's going to produce this. However, we also need a magic lamp. Very simple. All this requires that Isium that we got last episode. So I have all the items required and all I got to do is place this down. And as you can see here, as you can see right here, we're going to be making the dimensional mine shaft. Now the plans is probably to have more than one of these. I'm pretty sure you can potentially use more than one of them. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time to grab all of these items. And then once I have this made, we're actually going to use the same to make this. I just have to get these items crafted up. Um, now, there are different um, miners. There's an ore miner, material miner, um, and a debug miner. But the material miner uh, will will mine up, have, it'll have a slight chance to mine ores. But uh, the one you really want is definitely the ore miner. Especially since now, it seems like the ore miner is going to give us like all kinds of goodies, like silver ore. We even get more Isium. And if we take a look... We get all the modium. It says 0.0%, but I bet it's a lower than that. It does show up, which is just still mind boggling that it even shows up in the list. But there's all this stuff. So yes, this has never been the, the like, this is the, the best time to make this. I'm so glad we're, we, we made it for the update. Ah, so good. So it just consumed the last item. So we should be getting our minor dimension, which is supposedly like it mines in the void. It mentions it here in the book, if we go to this and we go over to the dimensional mine shaft, it talks about how it uh, it sort of mines resources out of the void, out of this uh, this other dimension, or I guess maybe it's their dimension, like it's mining it from their dimension, which is kind of cool. Um, so here we go. We have the dimensional mine shaft. Now, this needs that sort of genie lamp on top of this. So I'm working on getting the rest of the items as I still am waiting for this guy to sort of crush a few of these up and smelt them down so I can make the pick. But we are getting ready to make this bad boy. Um, 
and this will start up right away. Like we will have items mining. We can place this on like a hopper for right now to sort of see the items it's dropping. Oh, and then we got to make a crusher. I've got to get, I'm going to upgrade this guy. This is, uh, this is the lowest tier. I want to, I want to see what the highest tier looks like. And bam, as you can see, we're getting a magical lamp. This is very, very genie. This is why I think it's genie instead of gin, but I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know. It probably goes both ways. Uh, but this process has started and we're ever closer to getting ourselves a miner up and running. And the magic lamp has been completed. So we basically have everything up and going. Now for my next, next ritual, which is going to basically set up, um, it's basically going to be, be setting up the highest tier crusher. Well, I need a little bit bigger of a platform. This platform is just not going to cut it. That is right here. So I am thinking about building this up a little bit higher and setting this bad boy up and it needs to be quite large. So let's take a look at what we need here. It needs to be able to fill this entire area. Yeah, this is just a little bit bigger than everything else we've done. So I'm slowly but surely working on placing all of the runes down or all of the chalk down. As you can see, this is what it looks like. This is going to be the upper area. How I make a path to get up here, I still don't know. <laughs> may end up using an elevator. Um, but I did want this to be like the pinnacle, the top of this area. I think I have all the white runes down. This will be the gold. And then last but not least, the red. Uh, surprisingly, this doesn't use any purple. Yeah, which is interesting. Even though the red chalk is probably one of the harder ones to obtain i think this is it and now this the only thing this is going to be used for believe it or not this specific one um is just to summon the high tier crusher yeah that's it's really all it's going to be used for it only requires four items to sacrifice in order to make that so let's take a look at those four items it's exactly the same as our original foliate I believe, let's see, this is going to take for the highest tier. I believe it's this one right here. Yeah. So it's going to require a block of emerald, a block of diamond, a block of isium, and just a gas tier. And then we also need the uh, the myriad, which I think is like purple on the one we need. I think it's this one right here. So it's like purple and orange, but we should have it. Yeah, we should totally have the ability to make that. And perfect. All right, let me just get the items ready. So I have crafted the last item needed. So all we need is this block of emerald, bam, a gas tier, and a block of diamond right there. This is probably the most expensive thing we've made so far. Let's go ahead and bind this and then summon in the Marriott or Crusher. This is a. Uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm kind of curious to see actually how fast this is and uh, does it end up producing more than two items per raw ore? That's what I'm curious about. The anticipation is overwhelming as I wait for the last bit to process. It does take a little bit of time. That is one thing. Like it's just, it's just a little time consuming. It almost feels like it's like at least 60 seconds or whatever per item consumption. And even after it feels like that, maybe 30 seconds. I don't know. It seems like this process takes a good few minutes. Oh my goodness. You are, you are something else. <laughs> that smile is, is really creepy. Okay. That's very fast. And I would say, yeah, it just, that was okay. That's 32, 38. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on, is that doing four per, or is it doing multiple processes at once? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this giving me four per? Oh my gosh, it is. So this is crushing four items. This is doing basically four, four processes at a time. Not four processes at a time, sorry. It's taking one ore and turning it into four. Um, let's see, can it do the raw material? So if I, for example, let me let it go ahead and finish this last one. If I give it one, 
It gives me six. Okay. Six for one. This is by far the best way to do this. Um, and we could make multiples of these. Like, we could definitely have more than one of these guys. Oh my. I believe we can have more than one, right? I, I think so. Okay, so that's this process. I need to figure out a good place to put what I'm about to make here. Um, which we could end up using this area over here for this. Um, okay, so the dimensional line shaft. Uh, let's take a hopper and just test it with a hopper for right now. And basically, if I place this, I place the dimensional mine shaft here, and I place this in it. This uses up durability on the ore miner to generate stuff. However, I believe I can put an eternal Stella on this ore miner. Okay, let's see. So it, it, it already made that. And you can see it did take some durability. But I think, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard because Eternal Stella, I think it needs the, um, the item in your inventory in order to do this. But that process time is a little long, but man, if we made multiples of these, that could work a little bit better. And I mean, it's just mining all kinds of stuff. Hmm. But then we need some way to send these items into here into this guy, which, I mean, we can do it with another summon. There is, like, a janitor summon, um, a janitor demon, and there's also another type of demon that we could potentially use as well. Hmm. So I've done some renovations, and I have this area over here. These, by the way, are the uh, Ars Nou uh, Nouveau uh, Mage Light Source, or sc Sconces. Um, and all you gotta do is have a light, and you can change the color of your light, like I've explained. Right here, you can change the color, save it, and this has to be a touch, and you just touch it, and as you can see, it can change the color. Really cool, I think it fits well with the purple, even though I wish I could change the way that these actual uh, stands look. Um, but what I'm kind of going for is I'm thinking about having uh, this thing right here, the dimensional mine shaft, set up over here, and then we'll have our crusher over here, um, and then I should be able to set up a transport familiar or not a familiar, transport foliate to transport the items from this machine into our crushing spirit. That's the goal, into our crushing spirit. Our crushing spirit will crush those items, and then I'll use a janitor to put these items into an ender chest that is gonna be separate from our normal network and potentially have the ender chest set up to smelt the items quickly using a fast furnace. I think this could work. I think this is going to work. Uh, the only thing I have to do is I have to get these guys summoned in. Now, there is a way to pick these guys up and move them. I can use the quantum catcher, and then I'm also probably going to just need the book in general that this recommends. Um, so there is a book in here that you use to configure them, um, and I believe it's the machine operator. This book? It's one of these books. One of them allows you to... Yeah, there's the transporter. I think I have to have these books, potentially. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. One of them, I believe, lets you pick them up and move them. I'm gonna have to do some more research. Aha, the Book of Calling, this right here. Um, so it prevents S's decay while it's in the book. And then you right click to open the configuration interface. And yeah, this does some stuff, we'll see. I, I think we can make this, actually, I don't, I don't know if this is something that's even uh, able to be made. Um, all right, let me get these guys made. Uh, thankfully, they're all made. Those two uh, demons are actually made in this circle. Here goes our first one, I think. What does this say? Make sure the pinnacle ingredients are set up correctly. This is supposed to be the one that I'm working on, right? We have a chest, a minecart, a hopper, and a dispenser. Oh, and we need the book of calling transporter. So, that's what this is all about. So after it's bound, we need the transporter, which is a chest. And apparently we combine that with the ch chest. Okay. And then we can do it. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh yeah. I forgot I may have removed some of the things that were needed for this. I don't know. Maybe like the candles. 
I am such a dork. Uh, good thing though, it did lead me to understand that uh, there were some differences in the setup, but this should make it work. I think everything here says it should work. We have Book of Calling. Oh, wait, we need another sacrificial bowl with this book in it. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess that's where things are a little bit different. Okay, that's gonna be, we put the, okay. I. Huh, I think this might be telling me that I just need this book to control it. And that all I need to really do is just make the book to activate this. Yeah, and this is just the book that controls it. Interesting. Oh, interesting. It actually, okay, spawned with its its appropriate name. So I'm assuming this book is just trash because this is the book associated with it. Okay, so this is the interface and I'm assuming we use everything, but I can, I should be able to pick it up with this book. So I'm gonna hold it in here right now while we get the other one summoned in. This one is going to make the janitor and so as I get the janitor working, um, we can then try and figure out how we're gonna configure this setup. All right, so here's our other little fella and this is our janitor. So we can pick the janitor up. Um, janitor, you can go right here and transporter, you can go right here. Um, now, how do I configure the size? Okay, so mode, set deposit, set extract. So extract, uh, I need to accept there. And then this will be deposit. And then we'll hand over the items over here. Now here's the problem. <sighs> Unfortunately, there are items that are gonna generate that this guy can't handle. So how am I going to deal with that? So we might be able to figure this out by potentially using another one of these because I wanna try and use these guys for all the routing. Um, now, what I have here, this guy's gonna pick up the stuff from here and put it over here, but we can actually blacklist specific items from this uh, guy from picking up. So it can actually uh, be configured here. And as you can see, we can prevent them. Now, some things that I want to prevent, um, nuggets, I want to prevent this, these nuggets, um, the problem is, is I have to have them first to prevent them uh, because I can't drag them. Uh, let's see. So these nuggets, let's see. I don't have unobtainium, I don't think. Oh, I do have unobtainium. Vibranium? Oh, did this just set everything up for me? Okay. So I want to blacklist these items from being picked up because these can apparently generate in that list. And to see the list, all you gotta do is left click on, or right click on this and we can see the items. So all of these can be crushed. What cannot be crushed? So those can't be crushed. Glowstone, I guess can be crushed. It might actually be better just to have it crushed. And ancient debris, can it be crushed? And if it can, what does it get crushed into? It, it might honestly get, get crushed by this thing. Um, uh, we can test it out. Can you take this item? I don't know if it picks up items. Apparently not. Um, can you crush? So, oh, okay. So actually we don't even really need to set up a filter because from what it looks like, if it doesn't accept the item, it just spits it out. Oh. So this simplifies this whole setup really nice. All right, now the only thing I need to do then is I need to say, hey, you right here, I need you to deposit into this ender chest everything that this fella drops. I think this is basically set up. All we gotta do is put this in here and hope that this works. I am super curious to see how this is going to function. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Aha, uh -huh. I have found a problem. This needs to go over here. 
Um, oh, this is a problem as well. Like, how do I buffer this? This needs to be set here. Uh, we'll now deposit in the theater chest. How come you're not picking the items up that are being dropped? I don't, I don't know why you're not sweeping. Why are you not doing your job? Do you have to have an inventory set? Ah, there you go. So now it'll just pick it up. Okay. So hopefully this is fast enough. So long as like, this should be fast enough. I know it just threw these items in, but it should be fast enough to complete a process before the next process happens. So this should be grinding whatever it was that it was grinding. This should drop the ore. That is going to spit it out. Apparently it went, oh, it just automatically went right into here because apparently this cannot crush it. Okay, so that's fine. Now this it should crush. And then when it crushes it, it automatically went directly in the chest and we got six copper. This is working. This is working. Now, how do I keep this charge? I was thinking about putting the, a pedestal. And I think if you put this on a pedestal, it will repair the items that are inside things. And I think it could keep this thing repaired. So I would make the pedestal for this, but I was looking at the pedestal and I was like, oh, I could probably make this. And then realized every single dark matter requires, yeah, an all the modium ingot, like a full ingot. And well, that is a process that is not really automated. So what I'm probably going to do is go hunting for all the modium. Uh, there's two different ways I can do this. I could go to the other dimension and we can go adventuring and uh, we can go try and loot with the risk of death because we take a lot of negative effects. Or we could just mine in this dimension and I believe I can just use my map here um, to hopefully find some more hills because we have a hill here. We're going to have to basically fly around until we find some more hills. And thankfully, I have the all the modium site, so it's probably going to be the best to just do it this way. Yeah, this right here should be pretty easy because we have unlimited. All I got to do is bust into the top. Oh, boy. And hope for the best as I mine through here. Um, hopefully we find a bunch of it. Ah, yeah, perfect. And I do have fortune on this pick, so this should actually make this even better. Ah, there it is. Nice and bright. I'm going to need a bunch of this stuff. Well, isn't this a sight to see? I will definitely take some of the Stella. Very nice. I didn't even know you could find it here. I found it in the other. So apparently it is findable here. I mean, this isn't actually bad. I mean, I, I ended up finding the Moon Queen, like... There's a lot of stuff in here. This is actually a really nice hill. Oh, did that just blow everything up? Yeah, look at all this stuff. I'll take that. By the way, the moon queen, or the, the moon worm queen, basically shoots worms that light up the area. As weird as that may sound, that's exactly what this does. What are you? The twilight wrath? That's new. What is that? I see through you. Scary. Okay. But yeah, this thing shoots worms. Uh, <laughs> the more you know. Uh, there is another chest over here. I think it also had a the ore magnet in it, which is actually one of the special items. My goodness. But one thing I'm having a problem with. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Oh, of uh, all the modium. Oh, there it is. There's, there's some all, all the modium. So I'm hoping this works. I have 58 of these. Will this guy do six time ore processing of this? I'm about to find out. If it just, oh my God. It does six times, six times ore processing. What, what even? Oh. This guy waits. I love this. This guy actually waits until the inventory is empty. No way. Six times on the all the modium. That's that's awesome. Best in the game. 
by far. Well, I mean, I needed all the modium dust. <laughs> I needed all the modium. I'm so glad I have it now. This is, uh, that was a lot. That was little effort for a whole bunch is what that felt like. Now I need to take this over here and get this smelted because like I said, I want to try that pedestal. I really hope that that works and that I can use the pedestal in that manner. Now I have a bunch of junk I need to get rid of. Um, let's take a look at the pedestal. Uh, also, did I get some quests complete? Okay, I guess we did. Um, pedestals. The one from uh, Project E. I mean, I'll, I, I think we have enough stuff. All we need is a bunch of dark matter. Um, and I think, yeah, this is... Oh, this requires unobtainium. I mean, I guess now that we have this, we could probably go ahead and go through the line and go ahead and get an unobtainium. I feel like we should. But that, my friends, is going to have to wait till next episode. But until then, guys, click that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video and give this video a huge thumbs up. And of course, let me thank the sponsor of today's video. And that huge things is going to Jaren Dell. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way. Over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member and supporting this channel. Guys, we got a lot done. We bend, we basically bent some demons to our will. They're doing our bidding, and now six times ore processing. I really just want to send all of this stuff to that. Oh boy, we have a lot in our future. And um, I think our whole way we're generating or processing ores, uh, we're using that for right now, but the way we're going to be processing ores, I think, is going to, to basically require a bunch of demons. Yeah, yeah, I see it in our future. It's 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 bright <laughs> and also dark at the same time. So, guys, next episode, we're going to be basically hunting for an obtainium, getting all of the stuff ready, hopefully getting ourselves a pedestal ready to go, as there's a lot of things that are going to be happening. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.